And in point. many motorhomes, you know, a lot of times they're offering the same thing, but it's this detail that really kicks it up, right? Where it looks like a casino, some of them. So we get this question a lot. People ask us what motorhome or RV they should buy. We really can't answer that. But in this video, we are gonna tell you what you can expect to get for your money when purchasing a motorhome. So for those of you that are new to the channel, I am Izzy, this is MJ, we are Endless RVing. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna break this down for you into five common price points for motorhomes and what you can expect to get at each of those price points. All right, so we're gonna break this down, as we said, into five price points. So we're gonna start with your entry level motorhome, which is approximately under $100,000. So we're looking at maybe like a Thor Ace. Something similar to that. Right, right. So we're gonna hit real quick eight factors of things that you can expect at that price point. So number one is gonna be your engine. Yeah, these are almost always, well, they really pretty much are always yes. gonna be gas powered. Right now it's the Ford V8, so that's what you can expect, rear wheel drive, gas motorhome. Mm -hmm. Second thing, the length, they're gonna go up to, well, this price point, I don't know how big they go, but gas motorhomes, traditionally the biggest are 39 feet, but that's gonna be a little bit of a step up in uh, price point. Mm -hmm. Third construction always fiberglass they're going to be fiberglass and at this price point it is not going to, highly likely not going to have full body paint mm -hmm. which is number four which is the yeah you skip <laughs> you skip that so number four yes yeah, full body paint a lot we mentioned this in a lot of our videos too that's something that's really important to us but yes at this point price point you are not going to see that. Number five, the cabinets and woodwork inside this price point. You're not getting real woodwork. It's going to be some kind of uh, laminate. So that's just what to expect. And it may be a little flimsier than you will find will. In, in the higher level. Next is going to be HVAC. Usually this is going to be depending on the size, but this price point, they don't get too big. So you might get one or two air conditioners and uh, it's almost always going to be propane on the furnace. You may have heat pumps on the air conditioners, but your main heating system will will be propane furnace. Mm -hmm. The next one is amenities. So we're talking appliances, flooring, decor, and furniture. I've got to check the notes here so we don't miss anything. Again, very basic. You're not going to find those really fancy floors. You're not going to get the granite countertops. All of those things, the real expensive furniture, you're just not going to find it at this price point. And then the tow capacity, usually around 5,000 pounds. If you have a smaller motorhome, you may get a little bit more, but basically 5,000 pound tow capacity. So let's move on to the next price point. That's going to be approximately 120 to $200,000. Now here you have a little more, this is kind of like the sweet spot for gassers. Mm -hmm. You can start getting into like that tier two uh, gas or up to a really higher end gas motorhome. So we're going to quickly talk about uh, what we have in here. So drivetrain, again, gasser, but at this point you start to get into the real low-end diesels. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. the Thor Palazzo, right? So that's gonna be kind of like an entry-level diesel. You may even get like a coachman in there, maybe at this price point. You also, you will get diesels used. Just keep that right. in mind. Well, we're all talking keep about new right. on this. This, this, is, this new. is all new. Right. So now we're talking about the length. Again, like I said earlier, 27 feet, 39 feet. That will be in this area. Uh, you can get something 39 foot at this price point. Construction, again, it's gonna be around. it's gonna be the fiberglass, but what you will find at this price point, especially when you get into the higher end gassers like the new Mars and the Tiffins and some of the Fleetwoods and the Integra, the higher end ones, the basement storage, you're gonna get aluminum doors and it's you're gonna have much more storage down below. Much better construction on uh, something a little more pushing up to that 180 mark around there. Paint, it is possible. Yes, as we know, you can have full body paint in this price point for sure. Not all of them, but definitely the some. The ones on the higher mm -hmm. end will mm -hmm. have the full body paint, which is certainly going to help help hold up <laughs> over <good>. the years. <laughs> uh, cabinets, you can have hardwood cabinets on here. The Tiffin Open Roads, they yeah, do have yes. hardwood cabinets, and it is possible in the higher end of this price point. HVAC system, all, again, is going to be propane. There is no hydronic heating at this price point for a new mm -hmm. motorhome. You will have on the higher end heat pumps in your air conditioners. Okay, so for your appliances at this price point, again, we're talking about the appliances, the flooring, the decor, it's gonna be a step up. And as we know, it's actually really nice in those higher ends, the new Mars, the Tiffins, the Integra. So you're still not gonna get those tile floors, okay? The cabinets, nice. 
but still not what you're going to get at the, uh, you know, when, once we get to the, the top level. But your, the furniture is going to be a, a kick up from the, uh, that base price point. And the tow capacity, again, will be that five to 7,000, mm -hmm. usually 5,000 pounds. I Our dog so. decides to squeak a toy right when we're filming. <laughs> so the next, the third price point is going to be from 200, approximately 200 to 250,000. So you're looking at something, say like a Newmark Country Star, which we had looked at and we really like. An Integra, uh, Riata, or what was the Tiffany, another? The Breeze. The Breeze. Okay. So safely under 300,000 right, to be safe. Right, So we'll this is like the, bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so the engine, this is your entry level diesel. All right, so this is where you're going to start moving from the gas into the diesel. Um, in terms of length, up to 40 feet, you're still not going to have that 45 feet in length yet. No, and, and as, as far as the diesel engines, these are going to tend to be a little, they say underpowered, usually like the 340 horsepower yeah, area. You're not doing big mountains in these. No. <laughs> well, it depends on what size you get. Construction, again, it's going to be aluminum studs, fiberglass walls. That, that's kind of the standard here. You will start getting air suspension in here mm -hmm. and air brakes. So that's going to be a big advantage uh, for ride comfort. Full body paint on all these. Mm -hmm. the, the, you're, you're good with that. So it's going to look good for a long time. As far as cabinets, I know the country store is beautiful inside. Oh and I imagine the Tiffin it's is nice also. Hardwood. Yeah. And even Integra. Mm -hmm. And all, all, everyone in this price category, you start to move up to the real wood. It's not getting super fancy, but you're going to get real mm -hmm. hardwood, much better construction. HVAC system, for the most part, you are still on propane at this price point. It gets crazy. You spend that much money, you're still on I propane. Know, right? But there may be exceptions out there that I don't know of, that mm -hmm. we don't know yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Let us know, because I'm sure, look, we're just kind of generalizing here to help people um, in their shopping. Uh, the next one is the amenities. So the appliances, residential appliances, the flooring. Country Star yeah. is still going to have that vinyl flooring. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of this has to do with weight, right? Mm -hmm. So right, when you right. start getting to tile showers and tile black backsplashes and a lot it's of heavy. tile and granite, it becomes heavy. And at this price point, you still don't have a super heavy duty mm -hmm chassis so that that's why you kind of be limiting people right but but everything in terms of furniture and things it's beautiful at this it's, it's well made at this level but this this was very similar to the one before it um, and the tow capacity will be a little bit more on is, this. Is a little more, right. Yeah, but these are about, about 10,000 pounds around there. Yeah, so a little bit. Still not as much as you want, though. All right, so now we're going to give you a little bit of a broader range. This is going to be from about 300,000 to 900,000. This is where you're going to find a lot of diesel motorhomes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of differences in these prices. But for the most part, we're going to give you what we've seen out there. So some examples, like one of the most common ones, your new Mar Dutch Star, right? You see a million of those out on the road. I mean, you can go up to, you know, your Tiff and Zephyr, which we Love. Tegra Cornerstone, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the Fleetwood Discovery LXC, mm -hmm. all the higher end production. Mm -hmm. This is going right, to be higher right. end production motorhomes, probably just leaving out the King Air because the King Air kind of jacked above. up in price yeah, already. Yeah. But New more Essex, mm -hmm. Mountain Air, those will all be in this price range. So, what do you expect for this? They are going to be diesel, rear wheel, uh, rear engine power diesel. They can go from the lower end, 400 horsepower, all the way up to 600 horsepower. Uh, different transmissions are going to be in there. So just expect that's what you're going to get. Length, these can go again, smaller ones, 32 feet up to 45 feet with a tag axle. Now, the tag axle is huge because that's going to give you the better carrying capacity as well as more tow capacity. So that's why a lot of people will get that tag and it's going to be more stable. These will all be air ride, air brakes, collision avoidance. You, mm -hmm. All these options are that's available enough. at this price range. Production motorhomes at this price range almost always are going to be, construction is going to be fiberglass. It's going to be aluminum studded body, fiberglass fiberglass sidewalls almost always at this price point you will start getting fiberglass roofs as far as uh, the paint is all gonna be full body right, paint right. and some really nice designs at, at this price point you're gonna get the matching paint on the slide and the inside yeah, slide walls yeah. you know so it starts getting really mm -hmm. fancy detailed yeah and at this point if you're still with us and you are enjoying the video please feel free to hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up Make sure to hit that bell so you know when our next video is coming out. Moving right along, cabinetry. So this is gonna be the really nice stuff now, right? You're gonna have the dovetail, you're gonna have the soft clothes on the draw. Oh, I would wish we had that. A lot of intricate detail yes, in the woodwork. Yes, right, you see, yes, a lot of the, there's there's art in the uh, in the cabinetry, which, which, which we love. The HVAC, you can have up to three ACs. All right, so that would also be nice. Um, hydronic heating you're gonna have, which huge. we also, what, huge? Huge. And if you don't yes. know what hydronic <laughs> heating is, essentially, it's very similar to like your baseboard heating in your home. There is a unit, a diesel and electric fired unit, and it has glycol in it. And the unit heats that glycol up and then it pushes that hot glycol 
through different areas like piping in the motorhome and it blows it out like, like baseboard heating. Heat, you get heated floors, you get all kind of cool things. Keeps it, at this price point, you get basement heating. So it's hot, That's why. Good. That's why I always want a carpet because my feet get cold. So this will be nice and we don't have to have carpet. Yes. All right. We'll move right. on to the next thing about the flooring. Right, so go ahead. So we have the appliances, flooring, decor, and furniture. Really nice. You really, yeah, really you're really kicking get it up. Your induction cooktops, mm -hmm. you're gonna get your big like home style French door, refrigerators, you're gonna get porcelain tiles. I mean, at this price point, you're gonna get flush mount floors, so mm -hmm. there's no carpet. Everything's gonna be flat. The decor is gonna be super fancy. You're talking about like granite like, countertops. Like Vegas looking. Yeah, glass style tile you know, tiled out showers, multiple bathrooms. Right, and the, this is, this and in point. many motorhomes, you know, a lot of times they're offering the same thing, but it's this detail that really kicks it up, right? Where it looks like a casino, some of them. Yeah, the furniture is gonna be high in leather furniture. And they also at this point, and this is kind of more in the drivetrain, you get the front independent suspension. You're gonna have heavier axles. So it's, it's gonna be a lot more capable motorhome. And then the tow capacity on these, they're gonna be, right. 10,000 up to 20,000 yeah. pounds. So you plenty of power for the uh, long trips. Okay, our final category is gonna call the baller category. <laughs> this is rock star, this is uh, super sports athlete. This is gonna be a million dollars and above. And for the most part, it's gonna be all custom coach converters. Now, Except, we do have yep. the, King the King Air, Air, which now just jacked itself in price, which is still production. Although I don't know if, if they're just making that to make it. I'm not sure. But that's like 1.2 million, mm -hmm. and that's still gonna be somewhat production. But everything else we're gonna be talking about in here is kind of, they're not making them just to make them. You're ordering these things, and you're waiting six months to a year for these things to be made. We're talking about renewal coaches, our Prevos, for travel, stuff like right. that. Right, if you know of a production coach that is over a million dollars besides the King Air, let us know. Because we were trying, to, we couldn't think of any others. So let's talk about the drivetrain in here. These are gonna be, uh, in the case of Newell, it's a, a custom chassis. So whereas these production coaches, you're probably, most of the part, you're gonna get a chassis from Freightliner or Spartan. When you get into the Newell coaches, they make their own chassis. Like you can't buy it, so they make it from like scratch. Then the other big ones are gonna be the Prevo conversions, and that is a Prevo commercial bus shell that is outfitted and custom made with a motorhome interior. Uh, the length for the most part, these are going to be 45 feet in length and have a tag axle. Now there are ones that are a little bit smaller. They are out there, but for the most part, if you're paying this money, you're probably gonna get the 45 footer. Construction. Like we just said, these are gonna be aluminum walls, monocoque design, or like the Prevo shell. These are just very well made. These things will last you 20, 25 years, but you're paying big money for them. When they have this kind of construction, they ride different down the road. The squeaks are gone, they handle better. It's just another level. That's not to say that production ones aren't capable they are very capable, but these are just a step up, right? It's mm -hmm. like going from a commercial to flying private jet, right? Now that we've right. done that, but I can imagine <laughs> yeah. when you fly private jet, it's kind of a step up. The paint jobs on these, oh. now you're really stepping up in paint. Now you're, you're at the point where when you're in a production coach, you get to choose your colors and maybe like the kind of design you want as far as like how the, the colors are in those designs. But when you get to this point, you get to choose whatever you want. And these paint jobs are, you know, hundreds and hundreds of man hours. There, there are $150,000 paint jobs, if not more. They will last years. And it, you won't see another coach on the road like that when you're at this price point. Right, so moving right along, cabinets, as you can imagine, they are as high quality as you can possibly get. All right, so you're gonna get everything that we mentioned before, right? The dovetail, the soft, clothes, everything. And they're, you know, they're, they're just perfect, basically, in my opinion. Well, at this price point, what you're not, because we've been on these, right? So at this price point, what you're not gonna get, when you're on, even on a high-end production and you're going down the road, you might hear some squeaking. Squeak, yep. At this price point, you're not gonna hear squeaking. So and if you do, there's a problem. Everything is, <laughs> is just custom fitted. The yeah. insulation, you're not gonna hear the noise like you hear on a production coach. It's a beautiful thing. All right, HVAC, three ACs, obviously hydronic heating, and basically everything that you had in the last one and more. And the plumbing, like, so when you go into the bays, like the wet bays of a, like say a Dutch star, you can 
it's it's it's, it's a little it's a little sloppier behind. Yeah. Yep. When you go into the bays of a Newell coach or a Prevo, we've seen this. Mm -hmm. It's art. It's, it, it's, everything is clean. It's a total. It's a totally different ambiance, right? It's it's, it's just a, a step up. It's made to last a long, long time. It's your dream. Your it dream. really is. No wires and stuff. Well, the wires are there, but they everything but is done neatly. You know, they're it's not a rat's together. nest. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, the amenities. Oh man, you can just imagine if you haven't seen one of these higher these Prevos or the you know the four travels and things like go look at them online they're just amazing the appliances are going to be you know like sub-zero sub -zero. viking yes, yes. Know, was mean, it mealy they call it neil i may be I saying that wrong m-i-e-l-e well, yeah I mean, you know you have the cappuccino maker and the, the wine the, chiller <laughs> and all this you know, all the, the crazy like the one the four travel we went in the one uh the realm it had a stand-up shower all tile at, and then there was a tv in the shower yes. which yes. is pretty cool oh, sound system like marble and i mean it's just it's just what you want it's what you want so with your vision that's what's going to come to life um so yes yeah, so the decor and the furniture i mean it's just exquisite it, it really is and the last thing is the tow capacity up to twenty thousand pounds for the most part yes the, the some newels. maybe up to 25. yeah i was we're watching an andrew about... steel one i think he, there were twenty five thousand. they were at the uh the newell factory so i believe the new ones are twenty five thousand. we're not talking super c here remember this is just class a so that's a totally different world all right in the comments below tell us what category are you currently in with your motorhome and number two tell us what category would you like to be in i think we're gonna get a lot of higher end but maybe some people don't want some all that stuff want they that. don't like they like the, small i mean i don't th those are really cool the higher end ones but it's a little too I'm happy with a dutch store yeah yeah That'd it's almost a little us. too glamorous for me so we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road, road.